this is Thunder E from MotorWork.com and welcome to our tech and entertainment series. And today we will be covering a uh, fun topic, so to speak. Uh, we're talking about the weed. And the sad thing about it is we're talking about the state and quality of weed games. Now, I don't know if most of you are old enough to remember how the old Nintendo seal of quality stood for something and it meant that you were getting good quality games in every form or fashion. Uh, today, that's not the case. I mean, I'm sure you guys saw the um, article written uh, on IGN by Matt Casamassina and how the Wii has, is basically a, just a, a crap load of uh, horrible, horrible made games in production value, in quality, you name it. I mean, the Wii has become a dumping ground for games. And the, fun, the funny fact about this is Nintendo likes this. Nintendo is actually feeding this whole uh, um, momentum or drive of crappy Wii games entirely. I mean, as a Wii owner and as, as a gamer myself, you know, I have a Wii, I have a 360, and also play a lot of PC games, you know. And they all cover different segments. You know, 360, you know, does more the hardcore gaming, HDV, and you know, all that. You know, the Wii is good for... Uh, you know, for a fun experience, family, you know, friends come over, that kind of thing. And the fact that I don't have enough Wii games to, you know, to go out either and buy, rent and play and say, oh, okay, something new's coming out. I always have to wait for the next Mario or the next Zelda to come out. You know, just shows how much Nintendo has literally bought into their own Blue Ocean hype and almost stalled Blue Ocean itself by literally not innovating as they go along but they become literally they become what apple is now you know, in in comparison the iphone 3gs you know in comparison to the regular iphone is almost no difference same thing with how Wii games have now progressed where it's just more of a hash and 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 throwing things out there in the market so that people will buy because you know casual gamers are more um in tune to the fact that the motion control is really doing most of the work i mean we all know the Wii modes and with Wii Motion Plus is a great piece of hardware. I mean, yes, it does what it says it does, especially when it's tuned to a good game, you know. Wii Sports Resort shows that Tiger Woods Golf, which I play constantly, does that job. The problem here is that Nintendo, um, like I said, has bought into that hype of where they just keep rehashing. i give you a prime example. Punch-Out! Punch-Out came out this year. Um, you know, this was a great avenue for Nintendo to really boost this franchise up instead of just basically tacking and just you know putting some things together and tacking a few motion controls and throwing it out on the market. Nintendo had a very clear opportunity to say look we're gonna make a boxing game that you know has proper motion controls you know if they had waited a little bit to add motion plus to make it a little better uh, combine that with the uh, uh, Wii Balance mode which was just a terrible job by the way I mean they could have come out with a boxing game that yes you know once you once you buy punch out you feel like okay, you're going to get into real boxing match but no what i got was the old rehash punch out which was great looked graphically better thank god you know they used the cell shaded graphics but i still use the classic controls you know one or two buttons that's pretty much it left and right i mean it doesn't make any sense when you have all those kind of controls that as a company, you know, you don't push the gear, you don't, you know, show that. And of course, we all know how Nintendo is with support with third parties, so I'm sure they're not giving third parties the kind of support they need to even make the quality kind of games they need, you know, out there. It's it's very sad that if, if I think about 2010, which is around the corner, I can think of literally three Wii games that I would want to get, you know. One is Red Steel, Red Steel 2, which, you know, thank God Ubisoft really sat down and, you know, worked that thing out. The other thing is, you know, uh, no More Heroes 2, uh, Desperate Struggles, is, uh, and all, I think, it, yeah, No More Desperate Struggles is, is the uh, second game. And, you know, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and that's pretty much it. Nothing else. I mean, literally, there is nothing else I can think of I want to get on the Wii at all. You know, and I believe, you know, two of those games are coming out the first half of the year, so what else is coming out? I know Nintendo likes to hold stuff back, short E3, Tokyo Game Show for the end of the year, but seriously... You know, Nintendo should realize, Reggie, you know, I mean, seriously, look at your numbers. You are slowly eroding the fan base of, uh, sorry, your, your sales sales numbers. I mean, yes, PS3 slowly caught up a little bit when they had the price drop, and you rebalanced the price drop too. But you can't balance that, um, you can't balance your sales by just continuing doing price drops, you know, to, to match your competitors. I mean, 
gamers want quality. You know, we're not saying, you know, um, every game has to be a, a Nintendo traditional title or a hardcore game. But the fact is, if you're going to make even a casual game for us, if it's going to be a mini game, I want a quality mini game. I want a game that, yes, it does what it says it's supposed to do. Not it's just a mini game. I'm trying to mess around with the controls and I'm like, okay, this is like, you know, half janky, half working. And I mean, yes, maybe my three year old cousin, you know, will like it. Uh, or, you know, my seven year old cousin would. But, you know, for me, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, doesn't add to the experience that I was, I bought the console for. So hopefully, you know, Nintendo, you guys, uh, hopefully you guys can listen and because um, yes, the Wii market is slowly dying down with, you know, sales hype and all that kind of stuff. but give us quality that's all we ask if we have quality we will buy quality if it's shitty we will not buy shitty products and that's just basically it so you know that's my little uh nintendo topic for today i just want to know what you guys think about it i would like to hear your responses you can post your response at borderwork.com at our website you know on the page uh of this video or on our youtube page you can also do a video response if you want to and don't forget to follow us at twitter at borderwork.com also follow us um, um, on our facebook fan page uh it's just border work you type that in you you get us in there also um don't forget to subscribe to our rss feed and subscribe to our youtube page and uh again this is thunder e from borderwork.com saying always enjoy your entertainment thank you